What's up guys? How are you all? This is Ram and you are watching Infinite Explorer. Today we are going to make this bridge. This is the bridge. It opens and closes. It's easy to make so let's get started. I have made a mini AC2, consider watching it after watching this video. In order to make a fridge, we need an insulation box and a cooling device. First we will make the box and set up the cooling device. In our case, it's Peltier module. With heat sink to dissipate the heat. It can run on both battery and direct power supply. First let's make the box. To make the box, I am using a thermocol sheet. I made some measurements on a single sheet of thermocol and follow my measurements that are displayed on the screen for every step. To make this, you need 135cm into 20cm and 235cm into 17cm and I am using a thermocol sheet of 1.5cm thickness. Stick them with glue, here I am using fevicol and glue gun as well when required. But you can go with your own alternative. Let them dry for a bit and apply glue on the joints to seal the gaps properly. For the base, take one 20 into 15 cm sheet and glue them. Seal the edges properly. To have a better insulation and to set up a door, we are adding another layer of thermocol. For this, take two 22 into 13 cm blocks of thermocol and attach on these edges. Make sure you glue the walls of the thermocol to make them stick firmly and let them dry for a bit. For the top part, take one 20 into 13 cm block and make a center square hole according to the dimensions of heat sink on the cold side. Don't worry, I will show you how to assemble Peltier module later in this step. So watch the video till the very end. To do that, Take a Peltier module and I am using TE12706 model but you can use your desired model according to your availability and power consumption. If you want more details about the Peltier module and where to buy and complete assembly of the kit, watch my other video links in the description and i cards above. For now I will show you simply the process of assembling but I recommend you watching the other video on complete tutorial of Peltier module. You can find the links in the description. Take a big heatsink and apply thermal paste and place the Peltier module and for the cold side apply thermal paste and attach the small heatsink. Add a fan on the hot side for faster heat dissipation and attach a safety grill. That's it. Your cooling module is ready. To use it in your fridge, cut a square cardboard and make two holes for the wires so it can be placed and sealed easily to the fridge top. I'm using hot glue to seal the edges properly. Now for the door, take the measurements using a scale and cut two pieces according to the measurements. One sheet has to be bigger than the other. One fits inside and other will cover entirely. Measurements can vary according to the previous measurements you take. To make this as a door, I am using these clamps which are easily available at hardware store and screw them.
Make the same arrangement at the bottom too. See, cool right? I applied some hot glue as well to make the door stronger. Now to make a handle take a small piece of cardboard and attach two pieces of thermocol for height. It's ready now. To give it a snap effect, I am adding it two strong magnets. So when I open or close the door, it gives me a good feel of pulling and holds the door in position. To conceal the top part and add a digital thermometer, make a hole at the right top and pull the sensor from inside and pass it to the cooling chamber like this. Finally to power this app take a red positive wire and black negative wires and connect them to the DC jack like this for easy operation. I even added a small LED in the corner to make it look even beautiful and look cool. Add a thermocol on top and leave some gap for hot air to go out. Now you can power this using a 12 volts battery or direct supply. Currently I am using two 12 volts batteries connected in parallel. Now your fridge is ready to use. Place your bottles inside and wait for some time. You can see the temperature in the thermometer. After 30 minutes of runtime, the chamber reached around 15 degrees. And the bottles were enough cold to serve the drink. So how is the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Watch my other projects as well, this is Ram signing off, keep exploring infinity.